Let's talk about the NFC East. Philadelphia going into MetLife Stadium. The Giants are a sinking ship. I picked against them one again. Did you end up picking against them? I know we were talking about it. I think I took the Eagles. You did take the Eagles. All right. Well, a wise choice for you once again. Uh, 36 to 21. Michael Vick left in the second quarter with a hamstring injury. And Nick Foles proved that he's pretty good. Uh, no? The, is the Giants defense just that bad? I mean, what if Nick it? Foles is running that team, I don't think that team's going to the playoffs. So, you know, I mean, look, he might get what a lot better. He looked Anyone up. can go to the playoffs in that division. Yeah, I mean, the Redskins Doesn't are matter. a half game out of first place. Excuse me, the Washington football team is a half game out of first place. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I, I believe for the first time. Vic I'm will start next week, by the way. Just okay. Is that right? Yes. I'm contemplating for the first time that there might be someone in the playoffs that's 6 and 10. Like, that division is Horrible. Well, the Seahawks a few years ago were seven and nine. Seven and nine. And yeah. Then yeah. They, and then they yeah. won. And then Marshawn Lynch broke off that run and they against beat the Saints. The and Saints. then they lost right. to the Bears. Right. Yeah. Right. So I mean, look, whoever may, like not whoever, but if it's the Eagles or the Giants that somehow make it into the playoffs at seven and nine, let's be realistic, right? Eight and eight, whatever it is, right? Um, I'd be careful of them. I'd be worried about them. If it's uh, the Cowboys or the Redskins, I would bet so heavily against them. Like, Why? Because they just snuck in because they're in a horrible division. Whereas if the Giants or the Eagles made it, that means they're surging and they have a lot of talent and good coaching anyway. And how many times have you seen the Giants eke into the playoffs and then win the Super Bowl? Sure. Uh, a quick quote from uh, Tom Coughlin who said this about Eli Manning's three interceptions, which were all in the fourth quarter. Uh, it all comes down to the interceptions. Two of them were just almost unbelievable. I honestly believe that he's trying so hard to get us a win. He's almost put too much on himself. He keeps it all pretty much inside. I'm not making excuses. There were a couple of those plays that were terrible. Uh, you agree? You're shaking your head? Yeah, absolutely. E Eli's trying too hard because of the lack of the running game. They're already in a hole. David Wilson now injured as well. Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Um, he looked good early. He yeah. did? Yeah. 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 When oh, it rains, yeah, it right. pours with the Giants. Right. No, yeah. no. It's, He's a good it's, player. Now that they're on five, I mean, I think it's probably over, and I think that they do spiral into a, you know, a horrible the that's been. Redskins in the Marty year. You know, mm -hmm. they made the huge mistake of firing Marty Schottenheimer, but they went, they started, uh, they were 0-5 and, five and uh -huh. finished 8-8. Eight and eight. Or that happens. But I was hoping that that would happen when they won this game. Like right, the 0-4 right. is sure. bad, but you can recover. 0-5. Joe Gibbs, too, started 0-5 his first year and ended 8-8. Eight and eight. Mm -hmm. uh, Next, the Giants are uh, at Soldier Field, as a matter of fact. Thursday Night Football in Philadelphia is at Tampa Bay. The Mike Glennon Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, if the Eagles don't win that game, then... Then they're nothing. Then yeah, they're nothing. Yeah. Well, I guess that would prove it.